Welcome to the stage, Lisa Gabbard. But the furniture's so heavy, <laughs> you would not believe it. It's like made of a neutron star. <laughs> All right, much less awkward. Hi everybody, thank you for coming. I like that story, Jonathan. Do you, do you read the OK Cupid blog? I don't. Maybe you don't want to like revisit it at all. But <laughs> it's so funny. They do like data analysis on everybody's profiles, and like you know analyze what people find attractive, and you know who gets responses. It's fascinating. It's like data porn. Um, <laughs> recommended. So. Uh, First, I'm going to read a couple of poems that I wrote collaboratively with my friend Kathleen Rooney, who is um, a writer and uh, instructor in Chicago, and she's worth seeking out. Uh, she has a bunch of books, way more than me. <laughs> um, yeah, so we, we wrote these together over email, just these first couple. This first one's called Some Notes on the Male Gaze. One needn't be male to administer the male gaze. One needn't even possess stereoscopic sight. One must, however, at the very least, have eyes. Is what we remember about ourselves what people remember about us? Do we live our lives toward our obituaries? I can't help reacting to the constant impertinence of your big doe eyes. What separates us from the animals? if not lust, romance, or even devotion. 85% of psychologists agree, excessive staring is thought to cause stupidity and sin. <laughs> However, at least half of psychologists pursue psychology as a result of a mental imbalance. That and a desire for horizonless self-reflection. Both men and women prefer to look at naked women Naked women prefer to look at sylvan scenes. 99% of gazes are eventually averted. The remaining 1% remain frozen that way forever. This is their own fault. I don't know where the heck the word gaze comes from, but it does not derive from the Latin meaning mirror. However, vanity and lust are at base the same impulse. Do not resist the masquerade. Masks are available for rental. If you sit on the lawn and paint your nails, you look porno. It's better if the lawn's part dead. We can't allow you any photos. We can't allow you to admire us from afar. So knock off the open and unabated, unmanly despair already. I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at you. See how much easier this is? <laughs> this one's called Elegy for the Self. Looking back at my life, the color of my life would be called not fair or and then you die. When I die, I want to be placed among the stars awkwardly, like a knick-knack, or at least not permanently. That sound is the ill wind. It blows. I will name my homesickness nostalgia of hatred. I preferred having enemies. I felt like they knew me. Knew me, at least, by the trappings of the living, the moth, the coat, the ghost downstairs. Okay, now I'm going to read just some solo work. Um, this is from a manuscript in progress called The Self Unstable. Do you ever revert to a dialect of baby talk from a previous relationship? It's a coding error. It's a dick move. 
In uncomfortable situations, one may revert to affected habits, to meta jokes. Enjoyment of adversity is a sign of genius, but the mad genius is oblivious to adversity. In my sex tape, the vocalist does an anagram as sequence like overheard speech in a foreign language. This takes place off camera, but you can tell by the player's reactions, the soundtrack's intrinsic. It's so cerebral, it's not sexy, but for the paradox, the inherently sexy X. All games are dangerous. Schadenfreude complicates utilitarianism. As they get older, as the women's movement progresses, women report less happiness. Or is it a slight difference, more unhappiness? But you can argue there's more to life than being happy. Most people choose power over happiness. A man in a coma for 23 years was found to have been conscious the whole time. This is a variation on the fantasy of attending your own funeral. Most of the time, if you don't want to know, you already do. Animals can think about thinking a grand failure of evolution. The best experiences involve no thinking at all, much less self-reference, much less an endless, strange loop. Whatever you do, don't start thinking about thinking. Don't read Gertel Escher Bach. If it's cool to be a geek, we have lost our systems of meaning. This was always the goal. We seek methods of being terrified. We want it to be art, so we redefine art. Not every culture has kings, but the geek is universal. <coughs> There's no respect without fear, but there is fear without respect. This is another way of saying that fear is everywhere, which is why it's so scary. No aspect of my life is free of marketing. We were wrong about the infinite possibilities. You have to choose between the pure idea and the blaze orange tree. When the novelty of the new wears off, it feels chintzy. The way I feel about strangers is unconditional. They never seem strange. Strange has lost its original meaning. It now means vague. Everyone I've ever loved has failed me by letting me. In a moment of silence, thoughts may impose themselves on the silence. So it becomes necessary to avoid silence wear headphones on the train. The problem with the train is the beautiful girls who never notice me. I am only noticed by less beautiful girls. Most people choose power over happiness. A photograph, in contrast to a painting or a sculpture, is not a unique object and therefore has no aura. It is difficult to view a photography exhibit in a museum and feel moved. It is difficult to feel moved in general. One finds oneself repeatedly accessing a single painful or poignant memory. To elicit full tears, one must revise history. One must willfully make of the thing a grotesquerie. The paralysis of choice is a theory based on one crappy study that has never been reproduced. Still, it's probably true. I'd rather make the wrong choice than make the right one and not know it. Regret is a kind of certainty. I used to say I never had regrets. I didn't realize I just didn't have any yet. Hangovers worsen as we age, but our tolerance does not decrease accordingly. 
file this under design concerns system level. The definition of binge drinking is disturbingly lax. Most adults can't have fun without alcohol, but it's easy enough to redefine fun. If not the malleability of language, the source of the argument can often be traced back to dissatisfying sex. Hobbies for adults are advanced forms of indirect consumerism. Kids have no money, so they play games like house and school, evoking settings they will later resent. <laughs> Awareness is the great human problem. Most endings are ruined by knowing they are. It's not clear what role processing speed has in subjective experience. A game of chess may be played at long distance and extended over a lifetime. The total amount of fun is constant, <laughs> but is it ever, at any point, perceptible? If luxury is obscene, all pleasures are obscene. The tyranny of matters of degree. Faux fur is cruel by way of reference to cruelty. In the moment, we value stability, but we prefer our painful memories. Happiness is intensity of experience. Don't you always feel the way you feel? Sexual tension must culminate or deteriorate. Thus, all passionate friendships end with resentment. Be careful what you do with abandonment. In fantasies of sudden death, one's enemies are finally sorry. This only endears them to the fantasizer. All attachments are romantic. Be careful what you wish for and that it tells you what you want. Voting is inherently good. It inures us to outcomes, to our statistical insignificance. I vote every day by not having children. Our most frequently accessed memories are most likely to be wrong, not to mention streaked with light. Pride is the successful avoidance of shame. Crows can tell one human from another, but we are unable to distinguish among various crows. This is mischaracterized as a paradox. Humans may be racist, but crows can't read, and robots can't really dance. All species evolve toward over-specialization. If you find anything other than food or sex interesting, it's signaling. If information has replaced the story, what will replace information? We have arrived at the future but its use is restricted to the military. UIs aspire to the uncanny valley. We don't want to get over romanticism, the bankruptcy of collective memory, the etymology of high. Thank you.